So you've just started growing a beard. What are you going to do with it? All right, folks, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to another uh, video in my beard series where we talk a little bit about uh, the journey I've been through over the past few months growing this beard and also some considerations, uh, helpful hints, tips, those kind of things I can provide for you. We've talked about reasons to grow a beard. We've talked about a couple of awkward stages with the itching and the chubby cheeks. So if you're interested in any of that, please go back and take a look at those videos. And today, I re you really need to start thinking pretty early in your beard journey uh, what you want to go for. All right, and that can change as, as time goes by and you see what, what, you, what you're looking like in the mirror and also what you can live with, what you can't live with. Also, as you start to do more research, uh, your bigger goals can change, uh, and that's fine. Mine, mine's changed a little bit, but, but not too much. The biggest thing is you don't want to do any trimming or uh, anything like that that's going to really set you back quite a bit okay so there's one kind of theory of thought where you just let everything grow for a certain amount of time whether it's you know you let it grow for a month or two months or three months or six months or a whole year even uh, you know and there's certain rules for growing a year I guess if you're gonna uh, compare yourself to some other people to do that that the year thing is not for me even though I've got a pretty long beard at this point it probably looks like maybe a, a five month beard something like that it's been growing for uh, seven months now so I've, I've done quite a bit of trimming along the way because I really wanted it to look as, uh, as shapely and as professional kind of as, as possible as I went so we'll be talking about a little bit of that the biggest considerations you know the first thing you do is kind of start with your cheek line you don't want to go too low on that because uh, that can uh, keep you from having the full looking beard um, trimming back your mustache too much um, some people were going, okay, you've got a nice big mustache. I don't have that. Well, you may or may not. You just have to not trim it for a while. And there's some aggravations that come along with that, which I'll talk about in other videos because some people trim way up here above the lip line. You see how that would look if I trimmed above my lip line. So I do trim it and I've trimmed it quite a, quite a bit actually, but I usually kind of trim at the, where my two lips meet together because it gives you a little more fuller look. And then, you know, the tips here, you can play around with how long you want those. And I've keep adjusting and going back and forth on it. Depends on how aggra aggravated I am that day. The other thing is how much to taper on the sides. You want to do as little tapering as possible. Uh, in fact, you could get your barber to kind of blend the very top of it, but you don't want to go anything down past maybe where your, your ear and the bottom of your ear connects there to your face. You can do a little bit of tapering there, but you really want to see how full this is. And once it comes in full or not, you can do some more tapering. Uh, but if you're going for the natural look, you want it all to grow. Uh, I wasn't really going for the long natural beard. So I kept my neckline, not just the line there, because that, I think that's a big overlooked issue is if you're only trimming the neckline, but you're not doing any tapering underneath, it's going to look weird. And I think that's one thing that gives people an issue is they've got a month's worth of growth here. So let's say you've got an, a half an inch all over your face. Well, part of it's going to not blend in so well. And that's usually around the perimeter of what you've got going on. Because think about doing that on your head. If you had half an inch of hair all over your head, well, it's going to be too short in one spot and the spots up here is going to stick up over here. If you've got half an inch, it's going to start to get in the way of your ears on the back. If you just have half an inch and there's no tapering, then it looks funny. So just like you taper the hairs on the on your head, you can do the same thing on your beard within reason. Just have to be careful. You don't really want to taper in here. That's where your length. You want every all your focus to be right here on the uh, kind of the goatee area is usually where the most people's focus is. But you can do some some tapering right here on the sides and the overlooked place I think is tapering underneath. Uh, what you can do is uh, you can take something like a clipper comb uh, and then you can taper the hairs underneath. So just besides doing the neckline is to actually taper those hairs underneath because you do get uneven growth. Um, and some people said that, oh, it doesn't all grow at the same rate. Yeah, and it doesn't. And then once you actually experience yourself, you'll go, oh, this is more than what I was thinking. The hair here on the sides, 
for me grows a lot faster than the hair here. Ooh, I gotta put that back down. Uh, so it's gonna grow a lot faster on the sides and it's gonna grow for me a lot faster just underneath uh, my chin. Kind of like the underbeard, we'll call this. So my underbeard grew really fast and on my sides grew really fast and it didn't take very long for things to look out of whack. And if you don't address it, then you're going to not like the way you're looking and you're going to have, you may take more drastic measures. So there are little trims you can do along the way to achieve your goals of uh, a longer looking beard. I know some people say you can't trim your way to a long beard and, and that's true to a certain extent. If you want a long natural looking beard, you can't be trimming stuff all the time. Uh, so that's why you do want to, as quickly as you can, try to kind of hone in on what you want to go for. Um, and then try to do things to help you support that to achieve it while having uh, having your beard and your face and what you see in the mirror uh, look as, as best as it can along the way. Because you want to be happy with the way you look. That's kind of the whole point of doing this is to change your way of the way that you look. But you want to, to do that to be a positive change. All right. See you next time.